Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and if you'll stay to the end of this episode, I shall provide a link to a rather bizarre tutorial given to me by Aloysius Lannister, the grumpy gamer, who wishes to try to explain certain elements of role-playing games to me. It was frighteningly accurate. But let's get to today's question. It comes from Mr. Rust, who notes that I used the term non-Euclidean quite a bit in describing certain elements within my stories. He wants to know, first off, what it means, and secondly, why I chose to, to weave it into my fiction. Uh, now, non-Euclidean, in a rather banal, basic sense, simply means sets, uh, geometrical sets that do not conform to a traditional or Euclidean model. Uh, specifically, if one looks at a triangle on a sheet of paper, uh, it should have all of its angles equal 180 degrees. Well, in non-Euclidean geometry, this is not always the case. Sometimes the angles are less, sometimes they are more. And what this allowed me to do was create a sort of shorthand to let the audience know that the narrator was viewing a somewhat off-kilter world, seeing something that their mind simply could not understand, and rationality screamed for salvation. Might be a little lazy on my part, but it does depend upon one's readers to understand a bare minimum of geometrical thought, and I find this is the greatest way to inspire true terror. Absolute ignorance breeds fear, but just a little bit of knowledge can do it in a much more sublime manner, especially when it comes to maths, and I find geometry in particular. I was Never the greatest student when it came to math, and despite uh, my interest in the sciences and the astronomies. But geometry, geometry is its own kind of challenge. Imagine, with it, you can fold space in upon itself. You can construct proofs that suggest such monstrous improbabilities, and yet follow the train of evidence all the way back to the safe and the familiar. It is a kind of arithmetic, if you will pardon the term. And these mathematicians and trigonomancers that can use these skills to amaze and wonder, well, they are marvels in and of their own right. Personally, I think there is more wonder to be found at the end of a protractor or a slide rule than in countless star charts or tarot cards. But that is my opinion. And I hope this helps. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.